best part of the whole ceremony, it was short. Perhaps for you, as you ducked out early, the others are probably just getting started. The drunkenness never ends in this quaint realm. Not so fond of Toussaint after all, are we? Oh, this place is like a strong wine, Geralt. Good in small sips. How do you find my personal brew? Not too strong. Just right. Credit the local mandrake of the Alrauna Diabolus variety for that. The tubers which grow in this area's volcanic soil have an altogether unique flavor profile and display a remarkably uncommon dark brown tint. Fascinating. All I can say is this batch turned out excellent. Indeed. It might be wise to stockpile some roots for the future. Would you care to accompany me? You decide to go root picking now? It's dark out. Ah, oh, Geralt. Even were I generously to assume it had simply slipped your mind that I am a vampire and thus need no light to see, I'd never believe you had also forgotten that you likewise have absolutely no trouble seeing in the dark. So, shall we? If you think it's a good idea, let's go. But I think you might be forgetting one thing. Fresh mandrake root of this variety is highly toxic, even to a witcher. Ah, not a problem. I never forget matters of safety and hygiene in alchemy. Here, gloves and a mask. Don them, and you shall be in no danger. Thanks. Right then, let's go. This moonlight makes me oh so dreamy. Penny for your thoughts. Let me guess. Succubus twins? Uh, no. I was thinking about... Oh, how anything can look interesting when properly lit. Even an old necrophage corpse? You've not an ounce of refinement in you, have you? that bloodsucker go? Won't be easy to track down. He's a vampire after all. Regis! Damn it, where'd you go? You raise your hand against the vampire! Those Bruxae, they called you a traitor. Alas, we have a very simple code of honor, we vampires. So simple you might call it trivial. Either one is with us, unconditionally, regardless of the circumstances, or... Won't let it go, will they? They will not. Fortunately, we have another rule. An unwritten one, and just as trivial as the first. It is neatly summarized in the saying, out of sight, out of mind. That is why I must leave Toussaint. For a vastly long time, most like. Yeah, I get it. Oh, let us make for my camp. I have an overwhelming desire to have another drink. Mmm. Supreme bouquet. Firm, defined beginning. 
then develops gently, rising to a, a startling finish. Don't you think? Not much of a connoisseur. Then it is high time you started your education. After all, the Corvo Bianco vineyard is now yours. By the way, I left a gift for you at your new home. On the nightstand. <laughs> Thanks. Mind telling me what it is? <sighs> a trifle. That will nonetheless be useful should you need mutagens. Incidentally, have you thought about what you'll do with your prize? Shall you hang your swords over the mantel and take to pruning vines? No, just not the life for me. Sure, might stop by there occasionally, stay the winter, fill up on wine. But I'd rather keep moving. It's not a choice being a witcher. And once you are one, you're one for life. You can't just step off the path. Besides, plenty of work left for me in the world. Ghouls aren't gonna kill themselves. Rather droll, isn't it, that each time we meet, something harrowing must happen? I can remember a night, not too far from here, if I'm not mistaken. We hid in a cave while a blizzard raged all about. Does that sound at all familiar? How could it not? We just set off to rescue Ciri from Vilgefortz. Oh, our encounter with Vilgefortz. That is something I do not remember so fondly. But that first stay in Beauclair, far calmer than this one. Seemed like a land straight out of a fairy tale back then. Its sole problem, cellars too small to accommodate all that wine. Appearances, Geralt. Appearances, like Mamoons and Dopplers, deceive. So what did become of Vilgefortz? Killed him. Sure wasn't easy, though. What about you? Any idea where you'll go? Distance is of the essence. I thought I might venture south. Nilfgaard? Why ever not? The Nilfgaardians are a modern society. None there believe in vampires anymore. This fact alone could be very useful to one wishing to remain incognito. Hmm. Interesting point of view. <sighs> I so don't feel like going anywhere. Sit here a while longer? So we shall, my friend. We have witnessed, and in fact on several occasions incited, many great and weighty events. After all that toil, I believe we deserve a bit of a rest. That we do.